craziest couples ever. Oh, man. What's going on, guys? Shaq reacts here once again. And this little trust on all clips of the craziest couples I can find. And like was my favorite clip will be at the end, guys. So make sure to stay tuned all the way till then to find it. But in this first one, guys, it is definitely not good either. Basically, I guess this guy is just interviewing these girls, asking them honestly a stupid question. And let me just say he was still kind of being polite to them about it, like still trying to keep a good relationship between each other until the girl on the left decided to make a really dark remark. And the entire thing just started to go dark for no reason. Did you lose your virginity? Was it a good experience, bad experience? I wow. had it. I had a good that's experience. really personal. Is it? You shouldn't ask questions like well, that. I'm okay with that. Yeah, it's with my first boyfriend. He was yeah. Really Where's he I'm now? Where's he I'm still dating friend. him. Three oh my god, really? Yeah. Congratulations. Almost that's actually years. fucking dope. Yeah. You guys gotta get. Wow, Jimmy. look yeah. at that. I was yeah. about to say, you know, honestly, that's the dream right there. Yeah. Hopefully, I'll end up like you guys one day, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But, uh. You might not, top. though. I might not? Probably no. not, no. Why not? For, we have because really my boyfriend is, like, top tier. Like. He's top tier? That's yeah. true. What makes him top tier? Give us some qualities. He's the best boyfriend ever. Why? You gotta explain why. Because he listens to me. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, exactly. He does everything you want, right? It's a really hard thing for guys. So what, I wouldn't he listen. Says, Are you saying that I'm not capable of listening to somebody? Um, <laughs> She's I mean, like, most guys, well, first so. of all, you're shorter than me. So. Okay. Okay. You know, like that's all. Well, who said I'm going for you though? Huh? Who said I'm gonna go for you? Obviously, I want to go for you because you're taller than me. I mean, like, well, I model, so like a, a lot of people. Okay. Yeah. I don't get where you're going with this. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, I mean, like, what do you do for a living? What? And this next one, I mean, I really don't want to say that we told you so, but basically this woman over here, she ends up reaching the age of 30. I guess her entire young life, she never thought she wanted to have kids at a young age. But now since she's at the age of 30, it kind of hit the wall. And now she regrets everything. And all she wants right now is to be in a happy family with kids. I've always wanted to be an independent woman. And now that I'm in my 30s... <laughs> I think I I see it now and it's so weird how like glaringly obvious it becomes and I've talked to other women in their 30s too and they say it always happens like right around the same time yep. and you're in your 30s and if you happen to not have kids in your 30s and you happen to not have a husband in your 30s all of a sudden it hits you in the face and you just start to see all these flaws and then you start to think that the only thing that you fucking want <laughs> Um, and I'm not even kidding. It's like the only thing that you want is just one person that you can just completely rely on, that you can just do this fucking thing called life with, mm -hmm. and a kid. Now, I guess to top off that video, we have someone over here saying she still can live a happy life without all of that. Now, these are the kind of videos that are actually promoting the ideology that women don't have to have kids, and women should stay single, enjoy their time being single. And it's these kind of videos that are so damaging. Like, people gotta stop making them. I think it might be time to normalize being single and alone. Um, I'm really sick of people making it sound like, you know, in order to be happy, like in your future and everything else, you have to find your person because people will be like, oh, don't worry, you'll find someone eventually or something along those lines. And it's like, okay, but it's okay if I don't also. And by you saying that kind of makes me feel worse about not finding someone. And this next one is definitely true. Basically, this woman is saying that women don't mind if a guy approaches them as long as he's attractive. But the moment the guy is ugly, it's deemed as, as weird and creepy. Between a creep and a not creep. Yeah, the creep is not attractive. Yeah. Exactly. Even though the guy could be doing the exact same behavior. Yes. And it would be wholeheartedly acceptable if she was attracted to him. Are you know his lie? Cheat. Cheat. I gotta be with you to cheat. We together. What? Oh. And this next one, we really just want to add this clip in. Girls are always liking nice cars, but never understand how a man actually gets a nice car. Sometimes people like to do the stupidest things, and I guess this guy was just part of it. Let's be honest here, he never really earned this car.
this next we have a woman over here complaining that she had no other option but to do OnlyFans or else she would have been like broke and poor and had to feed her children. Let me know what you guys think about this excuse. Son will not be fine. He will not be fine. Go look at the stats. Your son won't be fine. And you might think it will because it's money. It's the stability though. I've worked nine to five minimum wage in my own fucking estate agent so I couldn't give my son shit. I couldn't afford a car. Couldn't afford rent. You want me to pay? I, I had 1600 pound wage. My rent was 725. What life is that? So what fucking now? Kid? So what now? What you kid this so what's that? So what now? You bust it open for nine nine. And then this next we have these group of girls over here getting questioned. Would they like a nice guy or a bad boy when they were younger? I'm not gonna lie. Most of them actually have a pretty good head on their shoulders. I don't think they ever gave a response that was kind of, I guess, a huge red flag. Maybe one of them did, but I was actually pretty pleased with their answers. They did a nice guy or a f boy? A nice guy. Nice guy. Nice guy for sure. But this ain't it. It's out of season. <laughs> I've been through too much. <laughs> did you want a nice guy when you were 21? Yes. I've always yes. been a nice guy. I'll be honest with you, no. <laughs> so why were you chasing the bad boys? Because I was a bad girl. <laughs> so you're not a bad girl anymore? No. I got my shit together now. What makes you a good girl? I grew up. You do what you're told? Yes. Do you listen to your man? I don't have a man anymore, but yes. If you had one, would you serve him with your heart? Of course. Would you stick with him through thick and thin? Of course. If you went broke, would you take care of the bills? Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, you she went broke. I went broke. He went it. broke. If he's broke and I'm working my ass off, yeah. don't sit on your ass and not do nothing either. Yeah, you gotta okay, have to. You gotta yeah. at least gotta hustle try. and try. And this sexual swim is absolutely stupid. Apparently, she's trying to say that saying all men are trash, she doesn't actually mean all men. And if you're not trash, you shouldn't be offended by that. What kind of dumb saying is that? How about you just don't say it? If I say men are trash and you don't feel like a trash person, why should it affect you? Exactly, and when I'm saying brown people are terrorists or black people are thugs or indigenous people are alcoholics and you're not one of them, dang nabbit, why are you getting mad? Alright, you can only choose one. Do you want that one or do you want all of these? Like, and this next bit kind of encouraged me to uh, want to learn more languages. I'm not gonna lie, when you do speak a lot of languages, it is very attractive to girls. You're both Albanian. Yeah. Okay, cool. What is the most attractive thing a guy can do? Maybe like speak a lot of languages. What is the most attractive language a guy can speak? Albanian or Arabic? Bosnian and Serbian. Yeah, una flaspa chipe. Ah, pretty man. But it shouldn't be. Ah, mira So you do know Albanian? Na, te shume bokor. Thank you. Te shume bokor. Ah. The duo te message me shume shipperin, shiptar, shipperin. At this stage, we're still fucking going, man. And this next one, I actually hate this video. I don't know why women are like correlating drug dealers with having the best experiences when in reality, I feel like that's the only people they ever experience. Like, please tell me in a scientific way how it makes sense that a drug dealer is better than a guy who works a nine to five. It just doesn't. There's no skill connected to that. A drug dealer? Or a nine to five guy. Drug dealer for two hundred, please. <laughs> a drug dealer. I'm sorry. Drug dealer. You know the drug dealers do the best. What's up? Drug dealer. I'm drug dealers. Drug dealer. I said drug dealers too, cause I'm drug dealers know the best shit ever. Like I'm telling you. I'm gonna have to do a drug dealer. <laughs> drug dealer. <laughs> the drug dealer. Drug, drug dealer. dealer. Drug dealer. A drug dealer. Dealer, not staying on that drug dealer, of course. A drug dealer for sure. A drug dealer because they've been outside working hard, so they're gonna let that shit down. And this next, we have a chick over here saying that LeBron attempted to fly her out and she stood him up. A lot of people are saying this is cap, and I'm not gonna lie, guys, but the way she was telling the story, it does seem very cap. I mean, she got flown out for this podcast that she's in, so I mean, imagine the other things she would have gotten flown out for. My dreams waited at an airport for like three hours, I never showed up. I know most girls would have hopped on that flight. And they would have been sweating it. And I was like, yeah, no, bro. I found out you're married. I didn't even know. I don't watch sports, first of all. Anyone who knows me knows that I don't watch sports. So I didn't even really know who he was. C-A-P. Help. I just, I remember I had the sneakers from time. So I was like, oh, you're that guy. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I'm like, Ooh. And then I was like, he's married. I was like, oh, no, this is going to ruin my image. Don't do drugs. If you're doing it, stop it. 
And this next one is actually pretty interesting. Basically, there is this girl that commented on this man's video saying, did you get picked yet? She is talking about, I guess, him getting picked by a white person. I'm not sure why she decided to say that on one of his videos, but regardless, she's an absolute hypocrite because I guess this guy did a little digging and found this. Did you get picked yet? Are you as a black woman asking if me as a black man, if I've been picked by the white people yet? More specifically by the white man? Hmm. Well, then if you were to say that, it'd be an absolute shame if I went on your account and then went to your Instagram, which is linked to your account, Miss Mia. It'd be a shame if I happened to scroll down and see the fact that you're dating a white man, right? There's no way you'd make a comment like, did you get picked yet? And then be dating a white man, right? Oh, uh, you know what? Maybe it's just a really good friend, right? Oh, swipe to see my sexy boyfriend. You cannot actually be for real. And please understand, I'm not shitting on you for dating a white man. Date whoever you want. But if you're going to be dating a white man, please... Please, don't ask a question like, did you get picked yet? That looks really bad on you. Because you were the one who quite literally got picked by the white man. But hey, if that works for you. Now, following the rose clip on this guy, we have this woman over here. She actually gets dumped on TV. And let me just say, she definitely broke down. The breakup sounds like... You just broke up with me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, man. Why did it Glad to have you guys so much for watching. See you guys in the next one. Take care. Peace.